time, Lenny Razelberg. Deep diving. Yes, it finally came to Lenny diving. everybody and welcome again. Tuesday night at Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, the second night of our special U.S. Olympic edition. On Sunday, Roland Gardner wrestled his way to $125,000 and then Laura Wilkinson dove right in and won $64,000 for her and her charity. And finally, Lenny Kraselberg lapped his way to $1,000. No more puns. Nice to see you again. Nice, nice to nice have to be you back. Here. Congratulations. Thank you. And congratulations to Rulin and Laura. Yes. Now, they're back there behind you, Lenny. And also, you've got some friends who came over here from Brooklyn as yeah. well. Yeah, Sergey, Mila, and Larissa. Yeah, very nice. So you got a whole rooting section over That's there. That's right. Now, how are you feeling? I feel good. This is the American dream, isn't it, Lenny? This, this is incredible. Yeah, that was some story you told us the other night about your parents who left uh, the Ukraine uh, just... 10, 11 years ago, yeah. came here, and there you were, learning the new language, learning about a new country, and here you are, the toast of America, and sitting here with me. That's right. It's the American Very dream, Lenny. It is the American dream. Who, what charity are we playing for tonight, Cystic Lenny? Fibrosis. Cystic Fibrosis, good organization, and, and why Cystic Fibrosis? It's actually an interesting reason that, you know, for a few years I've been getting in the mail, you know, stuff to donate and sure. it's always from cystic fibrosis and I you know I never was in a position where I can donate money and now I mean I'm here and I have a great opportunity to do that and I thought well this is the charity that really stuck in my mind and that's a great idea that? all right Lenny hey you want a thousand dollars you're just ten questions away from winning one million dollars once you reach the thirty two thousand dollar level you're guaranteed to leave you with at least that much money you have all three of your lifelines left 50 50 as the audience and you can phone a friend Lenny, you ready to go here? I'm ready. To Audience, go. are we ready? Sure we are. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Here we go. Okay, Lenny, check it out now for $2,000. RSVP is the abbreviation for a phrase in what language? Latin, Spanish, French, Greek. And you've got lifelines too, yeah. honey, if you're hung up here. RSVP. Can we go to... <laughs> I don't want to use the lifelines yet, so... All right. I'm kind of... I... Not 100% sure, but I'm leaning towards... So you're leaning toward... C. C, uh, French. French. I think it might be French. I will have to... Something tells you it's French. Answer. I'll say C. Final. Yes. <laughs> yes, Lenny, it's French. RSVP meaning answer if you please. Okay, nine away from a million, going for $4,000, here it comes. In 1896, where were the first modern Olympic Games held? Athens, Berlin, Paris, Rome. I think I know this one, it's A, Athens. Athens, final? Final. Athens, the right answer, yeah. That's where it all started. $8,000, Lenny. What is the name of the youngest Cosby daughter on the TV series, The Cosby Show? Vanessa, Rudy, Sandra, Denise. I think... That's the youngest I've seen this. daughter. No, I think it's B, Rudy. Rudy, youngest daughter. Yes. Final answer. Final answer. Got it right, too, for a Incredible what this guy knows. <laughs> He's seven away from one million, going for 16,000. In 1969, what U.S. city's name was the first word spoken from the moon? Miami, 
Chicago, Denver, Houston. Um, this makes sense. This is before you were born. Yes, a few years before yes. I was born. Yes, very but famous. There was a movie, I remember. I think it's D, Houston. Final answer, Lenny? Final answer. Yes, Lenny, you just won $15,000. Neil Armstrong. Lenny, your eyes keep darting all over the place. <laughs> Not anymore. But now the lights are going down, and now it's getting serious. Now I'm looking at you. Now you're looking at me, and now you're going for $32,000, and here it is. Simon Levan is the lead singer of what pop music group? Spandau Ballet, Human League, Duran Duran, Culture Club. It's either C or D. C or D, huh? C or D. I'm going to say C. You got three lifelines, but you're pretty sure of this now. Yes. Duran Duran, final answer. Is it your final answer, Lenny? Yes. Duran Duran, the right answer for 32 <laughs> going to $64,000 with all of his lifelines uh, intact. Well, let's talk about those Olympic events. You won three gold medals. Tell me about it. What, two of them were for the backstroke and two one were, was... Yeah, 100 and 200 backstroke and one was the uh, medley relay. Mm -hmm. And Gary Hall was a part of that relay as well. That's right. Sure he was. What happens to you now? Well, I want to go another four years. That's definitely my goal. Come back in Athens and hopefully defend my titles. I'm mm -hmm. looking forward to that. Well, all right. Good luck to you. Thank and you. good luck to you here, too. Going for 64000 for you and cystic fibrosis. Are you ready? Let's play, Letty. Let's go to it. Here it is for $64,000. Letty, what Shakespeare play features the line, parting is such sweet sorrow? Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet, Othello, Macbeth. I will, I'm gonna use an audience for this one. Why do we do that? Audience, Lenny needs your help. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, please vote now. Well, 71% oh. feel it's Romeo and Juliet. I'm gonna trust the audience and go with A. And Romeo make that your... And make that my final answer. Thank you, audience. You just won $64,000. Romeo said that to Juliet. Have you ever had to say that to somebody? Not yet. Okay, Lenny, let's go on. <laughs> Four away from a million for $125,000. The largest area of tropical rainforest in the world is located in what country? Australia, Brazil, Indonesia, Argentina. I think I have an idea. Can we go to 50-50? Why don't we narrow it down, computer? Take away two of those wrong answers. Brazil or Indonesia? Tropical rainforest. I will say C, Indonesia. Final answer? Final answer. Ah, uh, Lenny, it was Brazil. It was Brazil. But you go home with $32,000. And you have your share with Sister Fibros. God, got it. Lenny, it was great to meet you. Good luck here, okay? My best.
$32,000, and he'll share that with the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. And I'm sure we'll all be rooting for Lenny in Athens in the year 2004. All right, now it's time to introduce our seven remaining U.S. Olympic champions, and they are Stacy Trahila, pole vault, Jenny Thompson, swimming, Maurice Green, track and field, Gary Hall, Jr., swimming, Julie Hody, soccer, Lisa Leslie, basketball, and Dara Torres, swimming. Okay, everybody, welcome back. Nice to see you all again. Here's tonight's first fastest finger question. With these leading men in order of their birth, starting with the earliest. Paul Newman, George Clooney, Mark Wahlberg, Harrison Ford. I think we're already here. Time's up, though. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest, Paul Newman, Harrison Ford, George Clooney, and Mark Wahlberg. That's the order. Who got it right in the fastest time? The winner, Jenny Thompson. Jenny, let's play, Jenny. Let's do it. Thompson, she's from Dover, New Hampshire, single, and uh, just got back from Australia, like all of our Olympic champs. And I must say that all of them are uh, so attractive. They're just beautiful people. I mean, all of them, very extremely. Even the wrestler, Rulin. <laughs> he, he was kind of cute, too, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> nice to have you here, Jenny. Thank you very much. Jenny has never, ever seen our show. <laughs> We've been on for about a year and a half. <laughs> giving away millions of dollars, and we hope uh, you're a million winner as well. What charity are you playing for? Greenpeace. Greenpeace, sure, okay. They do a lot of good work on the environmental issues. Yeah. Now, uh, she has won more medals, I think, than any other uh, female athlete of the American team, right? Mm -hmm. My gosh, 10 Olympic medals, participated in three Olympics, eight-time a gold medalist, more than any other U.S. woman. But I think this is probably, or looks like, sounds like the end of, of your swimming career competitively in the Olympics, at least. Well, You're going now, into medical school yeah, now. Yeah, I'm right? not sure what's going to happen once I go to medical school. So. Stanford University? No, I'm going to Columbia, actually, in New York. Oh, Columbia, here in New York. Well, that's yeah. good. You, you graduated from Stanford, though, I did, right? Yes. Oh, good schools you went to. Yes, thank you. Anyway, we're glad you're here. Thank you very much. So we're going to get started now. Maybe you don't know the rules, or do you? I'm pretty sure I know the rules. All right, but fine. We, ha we have some lifelines to help you out. They're called 50 50. We can narrow it down by two. We can ask the audience if you dare. And you can phone a friend if you'd like, okay? So if you're ready, Jenny, let's do it. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Here we go. $100. Check it out, Jenny. What is the name for the exercise that is faster than walking, but not quite sprinting? Is it lapping? Sparring, jogging, snacking. <laughs> I'll have to go with C on that. Yes, you're right, for $100. <laughs> All right, here we go for $200, Jenny. What is the slang term for the expression that conceals the player's emotions during a card game? Blackjack face, poker face, roulette face, denial. <laughs> I believe it's B, poker face. Like yes, you keep poker face in that card game. She's up to uh, $300. The written English language is meant to be read how? Left to right, <laughs> bottom to top, right to left, in bed. <laughs> well, I like to read in bed, but um, I think I'd have to say A, left to right. That's how you do it, you read left to right. Jenny's up to $500. Idiot box is a common nickname for what appliance? Dishwasher, air conditioner, television, microwave oven. It's the one appliance I don't have. It's C, television. That's why I haven't seen the show. <laughs> Isn't she cute? Okay. <laughs> final answer, Jenny? Yes, that's my final answer. Yes, Jenny, they call it the idiot box. 
All right, more for $1,000. Here we go. Which of the following animals was not one of the official mascots of the 2000 Summer Olympics? Platypus, Kookaburra, Echidna, 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 whatever it is. <laughs> kangaroo. I believe it's D, kangaroo. Yes, you got it for $1,000. Well, great. We'll come back. She's going for $2,000. like when you're standing there and they played that national anthem? It's incredible. I just feel so much pride to well, be an American. Okay. I'll bet we all felt a lot, lot of pride for you guys as well. We didn't talk about your companion, Trevor Killian. Hi, Trevor. How are you yeah, doing? I'm my friend Trevor and my manager, Sue. And Sue, nice to see you as well. You never watch TV. I'm fascinated. Oh, there was all <laughs> kinds of stuff on. Yeah, I know. There I were know. people on an island and they would have votes. <laughs> They're all gone now. All right, Jenny, you won uh, $1,000. We're going for $2,000. Let's play. Here we go. $2,000. What gold medal winning runner wore gold colored shoes in the 1996 and 2000 Olympics? Was it Carl Lewis, Gail Devers, Donovan Bailey, Michael Johnson? Gold colored shoes. I believe it's D, Michael Johnson. Michael Johnson, final answer? Yes. Yes, Michael Johnson. Oh, no. oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Going for 4,000 right now. The title of the best selling 1990 album is Please Have or Don't What? <laughs> Leave them, hurt them, believe in them, scare them. B. Hurt, hurt him. Please have a don't hurt him final answer. <laughs> That's my final answer, B. She got that right, too, for $4,000. Uh, <laughs> doesn't watch TV, but listens to the radio. <laughs> $8,000. A current national ad campaign features the slogan, Ah, the power of what? Milk, butter, pork, Cheese. Hmm. <laughs> Can't anybody look me in the eye anymore? <laughs> ah, the power of. Ah, the power of cheese. <laughs> I believe it's D, cheese. Do you? Want to make yes. that your. My final answer, yes. My gosh, you got that right too for $8,000. Here we go for $16,000. The equation E equals MC squared is derived from the work of what scientist? Edwin Hubble, Enrico Fermi, Albert Einstein, J. Robert Oppenheimer. I'm pretty confident that this is C, Albert Einstein. Final answer? Yes. Yes, it was Einstein. Way back in 1905. Hey, you're up to $32,000, Jenny, take a look. Which of these countries has all the same colors as the U.S. on its current national flag? Russia, Japan, Canada, Sweden. Same colors as ours. Well, I know it's not Japan or Sweden or Canada, so it must be Russia, eh? A final answer? Yes, that's my final answer. Russia it is. $32,000. All right, Jenny playing for Greenpeace USA. She'll split whatever she wins here. We're going for 64000 right now, and here it is. Martin Short's Saturday Night Live character, Ed Grimley, idolizes what game show host? It's going to be a tough one for someone to never watch his television, but maybe, yeah, it is. maybe it'll come to you. Monty Hall, Alex Trebek, Bob Barker, Pat Sajak. He loved one of those hosts. I'm going to use the, uh, the crowd's help on this one. The audience, sure. Why don't we do that? Audience, Jenny needs your help. If you're ready, 
on your keypads using A, B, C, or D. Vote now. Well, 41% voted for Pat Sajak, and Alex Trebek came in second. Ed Grimley, just love this guy. I'm gonna have to go with the crowd and pick D. Go Pat with Sajak. the crowd, final answer. D. Yep. E, final answer, yes, Pat Sajak! You've got it, 64,000. We'll take a break, and when we come back, she goes for $125,000. Jenny Thompson, 27 years old, been swimming and practicing and competing all of her life and, and now has won eight gold medals over uh, her Olympic career. All right, Jenny, you're, you're achieving pretty well here, too. You've got two lifelines left, 50-50, and you can phone a friend, and you've won 64000 Should you lose here, you'll lose 32000 But right now, we're going to look at the question for $125,000. Let's play. Whose mural for the RCA building in New York City was destroyed because it portrayed the Russian leader Vladimir Lenin, Pablo Picasso, Diego Rivera, Mark Chagall, Jackson Pollock? We can narrow that down by two, or we can phone a friend who you think might have the background to answer this. I believe I'm going to phone a friend. Who do you want to call, Jenny? I'm going to call my friend Lisa. Lisa? Is she an art uh, devotee? Well, her sister is an art historian, so I believe she would know something. Maybe we should call the sister. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll get Lisa on the line, at and and see if she can help. Hello? Lisa? Yes. Regis Philbin calling from ABC who wants to be a millionaire. How are you? Hi, Regis. How are you? Well, we're fine here. We're doing quite well. Jenny's going for $125,000 right now. So she's doing swimmingly. Yes, yeah, she. <laughs> hey, Lisa, I'll do the funny stuff. Oh, sorry about that. Very good. Not bad. Okay. She's going to come on, read you the question, the four answers right now, okay? Okay. All right. It's all yours, Jenny. 30 seconds starting now. Hi, Lisa. Whose mural for the RCA building in New York City was destroyed because it portrayed the Russian leader Vladimir Lenin? A. Pablo Picasso, B. Diego Rivera, C. Mark Chagall, and D. Jackson Pollock. Hmm. Let's see. If I, I would be guessing, and I would guess uh, B. Diego Rivera. Um, I'm trying to think of what year that would have been. Uh, he's likely to be the one that would have. Diego Rivera. Now, there's one other thing we can do, Jenny, since you've never seen the show. <laughs> we can narrow it down by, by two and see if Diego is still in there and, and then decide what you're going to do, okay? Would you like to do that? Or do you think you want to go with it right now? Or do you want to walk the 64000 keep that money rather than lose 32000 Hmm. Well, I'd like to save my 50-50, but since Lisa was guessing, I think I'll use it. All right, it'll be interesting to see if it's still here. Okay, yeah. computer, take away two of those wrong answers. Still there. I will go with Diego Rivera, and I won't be mad at Lisa if it's not right. <laughs> we all will. Make that your final answer? Yes. Diego Rivera, Diego Rivera is the right answer for $125,000. All the lifelines are gone now, Jenny, but uh, we're just three away from a million, and you're going for $250,000. That's a quarter million dollars, Jenny. Yep. Ready? Ready. Here it comes. The Scoville scale is used to measure the intensity of what? Tartness of citrus fruit, marbling in beef, heat of chili peppers, sweetness of chocolate. I have no idea, so I'm going to take my 125 and run. <laughs> I don't blame you. Why not? The answer is heat of chili peppers. Jenny, thank you very much. 
You were just terrific, kiddo. Good luck to you, okay? Up on you, darling. Oh, for somebody who's never, ever seen our show before, Jenny certainly proved she's a quick learner and uh, a great competitor. Well, we all knew that. But now the games must continue, so here's the next fastest finger question. With the following Australian cities in geographical order, starting in the north. Canberra, Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne. Okay, the time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order. Starting in the north, and it's uh, Brisbane, followed by Sydney, Canberra, finally in the south, Melbourne, who got it right in the bed. The only one! He's going to play for a million bucks, and we'll be right back in a moment. <laughs> Julia Fowdy from Laguna Niguel. Yes, ma'am, congratulations. Finally got up here. Thank Couldn't you. wait to get up here. And what helped her a lot was the fact that that American soccer team played all over Australia. I know. When I saw that question, I was like, thank you. It was a sign. <laughs> I didn't right. think I was going to make it. <laughs> so your, your charity is uh, the Uniroyal uh, Tire Top Soccer. Tell yeah. me about that organization. It's uh, all about getting kids with disabilities into playing soccer. And it's, it's basically Uniroyal and I have teamed to just create awareness. So communities start programs and get kids that, kids that have disabilities out there playing and having fun and enjoying the sport. And are there some? Oh, yeah. There's a, there's a ton all over the country, but we're just trying to, you know, get the information out so people understand that it's out there and they can start this all program. All right, so it's Uniroyal Tire Top Soccer. You've got two of your pals from that organization, Elizabeth mm -hmm. and Joe, back there. Nice to have you guys here. And here. it sounds like a great organization, it's too. It's great. You ready to go here? I am so ready. You've been waiting a while. Let's do it, Julie, all right? You know about the rules. You know about the lifelines. 50-50, ask the audience and phone a friend. So if you're ready, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> okay, Julie, we begin with the $100 question. Which of these people would most likely give a chalk talk? A sea captain, football coach, fireman, undertaker. Chalk I think, talk. I, you know, I was really worried about the $100 question. <laughs> and I know this one, B, football coach. Football coach is right for 100 bucks. $200. A person dealing with someone else's responsibility is said to be left holding the what? Bag, rope, barbells, kids. Am I just nervous? Or am I lame? Uh, I'm going to say Regis A. That's totally in the bag. Good idea. You won $200. You're left holding the bag. 300. Which of the following is a slang term for sunglasses, lines, curtains, shades? Really, really cool. <laughs> See, shades. Shades it is for 300. $500. 500. A monogram usually consists of a person's what? Picture, initials, DNA, <laughs> blood type. Uh, B, initials. Sure, that's a monogram here, initials. $1,000. Which of the following is an event in the Summer Olympic Games? American football, Greco-Roman wrestling, curling, sumo wrestling. Where's my man? Is he still here? B, Greco-Roman wrestling. Yes, sir. $1,000 right now. People can develop hypothermia after prolonged exposure to what? Heat, electricity, sunlight, cold. D, cold. Final? Final. Cold it is Wrong. for 2000 bucks. <laughs> Going for $4,000. Former Chapstick spokeswoman Susie Chafee competed in what Olympic sport? Skiing? Gymnastics, ice skating, swimming. I'm pretty certain about this. A, skiing. Final. 
final. Yes, she was a skier. Four thousand dollars. Nineteen sixty-four. Nineteen sixty-six captain of the U.S. ski team as well. Eight thousand dollars, Julie. Which of the following actresses played Joe on the TV series The Facts of Life? Kim Fields, Nancy McKeon, Christy McNichol, Lisa Wetchell. Which one was Joe? I like this show too. <laughs> I'm going to say B. <laughs> Nancy. Just came back to Just you. Just a hunch. Yeah. Just a hunch. Well, let's see if it's right. Make that your final answer. I'm going to take that as my final answer. And you're going to take $8,000. Oh, yeah. Julie's up to 16000 The bubbles inside a glass of champagne are made up of what gas? Helium, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide. D, carbon dioxide. Final? Yes. Sure, carbon dioxide. Makes that campaign. And suddenly she's up to $32,000. Singer Perry Farrell, formerly of the band Jane's Addiction, founded what music festival in 1991? Family Values Tour, Horde, Lollapalooza, Vans Warped Tour. I, uh, I'm gonna phone a friend, because I have a friend that is, uh, Mr. Pop Culture, Steve, buddy. It's a good friend to have around here. We'll get yeah. Steve on the line, at and see if he can help. Hello? Hello, Steve. Yeah. Yeah, Regis Philbin calling from New York. How are you? Good, Regis. How are you? Got uh, Julie here. She's doing uh, quite well. Go on for 32000 Needs your help. Going to read you the question, the four answers. One of them's the right answer. Julie, take it away. 30 seconds. Hi, Steve. Singer Perry Farrell, formerly of the band's Jane, Jane's Addiction, found a what music festival in 1991? A, Family Values Tour. B, B, H-O-R-D-E, Horde. C, Lollapalooza. D, Vans Warp Tour. Uh, Lollapalooza. That's what I thought. All right. Thanks, Steve. Okay, Jules. Good luck. Thanks. All right. Bye-bye. See, Steve's the man. He wouldn't miss it. Make it your final answer. Final answer. Steve's right. $32,000. We'll be back. He's going to the from Laguna Miguel has won $32,000 and going for $64,000. Of course, a member of that great American women's soccer team. And what happens to all of you now? We are all playing in a professional league, which is great. First one ever for women's soccer here Where in this country. Where does that start? It's going to start next April. Um, eight cities. So we're all split up, which will be interesting because mm -hmm. we've been playing together for like 13 years. Do you know what city you're playing for? I'm uh, playing for San Diego. Is that right? Yeah. Good. Yay! And it starts in April of 2001. 2001. All right, here's where you are. You won 32000 We're going for 64. Two lifelines left, Julie. Here it now. $64,000. Let's play. Here it comes. <laughs> what is the smallest element of an image on a TV screen? Is it a pixel? Polymer? Byte? Diode? I'm going to go to the audience on this one. Why don't we try them? Audience, we need your help right now for Julie. If you are ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, nearly 90% said pixel. I think, I'm not sure, but I think I'm going to pick A. And make it your? Final. And the audience is right. Nicely done. The audience came through. Yeah. We're looking at the question, $125,000.
The Vespa motor scooter takes its name from the Italian word for what animal? Lion, wasp, hawk, shark. Vespa. Can we go to 50-50? Computer, take away two of those wrong answers. Wasp or shark? Now, if, if I lose this, I go down to 32? That's right, you'll lose 32,000. I think I'm gonna go for it. Okay. I may regret this. Uh, I'm gonna say B, wasp. Ready to make it your final answer? Sure. Yes, 100. <laughs> A lot more stress. pressure, huh? God. <laughs> Three away from the million, miss. $250,000 right now. What state has the largest number of active volcanoes in the United States? Hawaii, Washington, Oregon, Alaska. Supposed to go with your gut, that's helpful, <laughs> but you also got to take into consideration you'll lose 93,000 here if you miss. On the other hand, you'll get 250,000, but you could walk away with 125,000. Seems so obvious. I think I'm, uh, because it's for the charities, I think I'm gonna, um, walk. That's probably the smart thing to do. You're definitely gonna walk then, right? Yes. Wanna take a guess? I mean, it seems obvious, A, but I'm curious about Washington as well. Well, I'll the answer is a... Alaska. Oh, Alaska, dear. the highest number. Hey, $125,000, Shirley. Thank you very much. It's great to have you here. Good luck. Right out that way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did the right thing, right? Walked away. She'll share $125,000 with the Uniroyal Taya Top Soccer Charity. We're running out of time right now, so here's the next fastest finger question. Put these musical acts in order by when their first album was released, starting with the most recent. The Pointer Sisters, TLC, The Bangles, Bewitched. It's that time again. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the most recent. Bewitched, TLC, The Bangles, and The Pointer Sisters. Who got it right in the fastest time? Let's see. Dara Torres, again, a member of the U.S. Olympic swimming team. Congratulations. Thank you. Finally. Oh, uh, finally <laughs> it's is right. It's great to see you again. Thank and, you. and you look so good. And we're going now for the $100 question. Okay, we're going to start right out. You know the rules, Dara. Yes. You know about the lifeline. So let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Come on. For $100, in which of the following places would you most commonly find a sauna? In a church? Dorm room, health club, single spa. See health club. That's where you find the sauna. Two hundred dollars. A strong hand grip is often compared to what tool? Hammer, vice, wrench, salad shooter. <laughs> uh, B. Final answer. Final answer. Yeah, somehow you got that right. Two hundred dollars. And of course, that sound means that we're out of time for tonight, but we've been having so much fun that we've decided to keep on going for an extra show. Dara will be back here tomorrow night. Stay tuned now to ABC for a brand new episode of Donna and Grace. Coming up next, followed by the Gina Davis Show. We'll see you back here tomorrow night at 8, 7 Central with our remaining U.S. Olympic champions. From New York, everybody, good night.